like, I forgot how to vlog. I'm like, uh, corporate? I was claiming it before I even got into the place, child. Who about to say it to November? Baby, send it to collections. Give a pretty brown girl her space You can keep your better I'ma make a better way Y'all, it's been so long And I'm so excited to be back on this camera, y'all We're back, okay? Like, on for over a month? Yeah My last video was before I started teaching Um, yeah, y'all So I'm super excited to be back I'm new to my channel If this is your first time watching me Hey girl, hey, or hey boy, hey, okay. I am Key. We do travel videos, lifestyle vlogs, clothes, all the things, beauty type of thing. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Have been with me for a while. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sticking with me, okay? <sighs> We're back. I know I look crazy, y'all. I've been lounging around. Just got to church, and I was like, when I get out of church, I'm gonna do this video. But yes, y'all, we have so much to catch up on. Oh my gosh, like literally a lot to catch up on. Um, and I'm super excited to take you guys on this, this next, take you guys into this next chapter of my life. We are 29, we're back. You know what I'm saying? Like this is a new chapter for me, y'all. And I'm super excited for this new season that I'm in. I'm ready to just dive into it, okay? So, you read by the title, do you already know if I'm going to title with that? Your girl is moving, like, <sighs> oh my gosh, like, y'all. Now, I never would have thought that I would be moving to a new city, like, go, let's catch up, okay? Our school. School has been going good, y'all. Um, I've been having fun with my third graders, um, child. <laughs> It's been something, okay, but I've been enjoying it. I don't have any much, uh, anything like bad to say about uh, teaching um, in Texas, four year teaching. I'm here in Texas, if you're new. Um, I've been teaching for six years. This will be my, this is my six year teaching, but first full year here in Texas. But teaching's been good, y'all. You know, the demands are high, of course, a lot of work, a lot of this and the that. It is what it is, it's been going good. Back into what I was saying, say so girl, it's moving. <laughs> when I first moved uh, into this place that I'm in now, uh, that you guys, uh, of course, already know, um, I was like, I'm not moving out of, uh, well, by the time you see this, I'll already be out of the city. So I moved to Grand Prairie, uh, y'all. When I say I love Grand Prairie, like, I didn't see myself moving out of Grand Prairie. I just knew I was gonna get a house in Grand Prairie and this and the third, but God was like, mm mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, I remember like <laughs> I remember uh, when um, I started teaching the area where I where I am now, and people would always used to ask me like, "Do you uh, do you see yourself moving here? Do you want to move here?" And I'm like, mm -mm. "I'm good. I'm gonna just dug it out in Grand Prairie, uh, dug it out where I am. I'm gonna just drive to y'all, and that's gonna be that." The more time I spend with God, and the more time I've just kind of seeing God work and things he's done you know what I'm saying like one of my prayers was give me what you want me to desire like I'm no longer I'm over my desires you know what I'm saying I'm over my way of doing things I'm over what I think or what I want but I want your desires to become my desires and I kid you not y'all the more I said it the more it became true and I started like for a long time, I was like, I'm not moving. Like people, I was, it's me. Am I moving here? And I'm like, nah. I don't see what's moving here. Like, no, I'm never moving out here. For what? Like, I'm not moving just to just because I teach here. Because in my mind, like, I'm not staying and teaching. So why would I make a temporary move when I know it's not long term for me? Girl, listen. Be careful what you pray for. <laughs> you just might get it. <laughs> But uh, not that this is a bad thing. This is a, it's definitely a great thing for God to give you what he desires for you and for your life. You know, like I said, the more I said it, the more it became true. And the, the place that I just said that I was never moving to started slowly becoming my desire. And I didn't understand. I'm like, well, maybe it's just me. Like, maybe. But then I was like, it's not me because I never want to move here. Like, and that's when I knew, like, okay, this is what God has given me to desire. And for a long time, I was like, okay, God, what is this? Why am I wanting to all of a sudden move to this place and wanting to, I don't know, the desire kept on getting stronger and stronger to the point where I was like, okay, 
let me just start looking up this place let me just start looking at areas in this place and let me just start right i always used to ask mama when i was younger like how do i know if it's god if it's me and she'll always be like act on it you know and if it's if it's god then you'll know he'll open it up if it's not he'll close it or not at all and so i start you know like um looking at places and areas and i found like this this nice really 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 nice town home y'all um and i went and toured it um I'm going to put it here so y'all can see. Um, let's run a clip of me touring this place. So we're back so i just was like oh yeah i love this place like it's really nice like you know and when i was thinking about my family too when they come in the town they have to get the hotel but they was asking way too much for it for one like it was just so many like they want you to have an 800 plus credit score they want you to have three times this three times that like it was so much you know but i still liked it but still didn't feel like this was the place. You know what I'm saying? It just wasn't. And then my the real uh the realtor um guy I was working with, he was just getting on my nerves. <laughs> like if I had to keep reaching out to you to make a sale or whatever, how we all get whatever commission, like I sh I don't ever like to chase people to make money. Like mm -mm. I wasn't gonna force force it because I'm like, okay, well Lord, if you want me to be here, you know, then you know, open the door, you know, and things like that. With this other um, place, and I immediately fell in love with it. And I love, I'm a sucker for new builds, like new construction. Like, because I didn't want to be the first person to be in there. And, you know, like, I don't know. I just always want to be the first person in there. So, I toured two apartments here. about it i was like okay i can do this i can let me not settle like let's not settle like let's just go for the big one you know what i'm saying like let's just go for the big one because i'm like if god wants to move somewhere why am i settling i'm gonna get the biggest you know what i'm saying like if i just want me to move like there's no limit on god you know what i'm saying y'all chill so i like okay i'm gonna go for the big one this is like over 800 square feet i was like i'm gonna just go for this one you know um the more i looked at it the more i was like you know kind of like feeling really really good about it i was claiming it before i even got into the place child like before i even feel like feel like the application i was already looking up how i'm gonna design it what i'm gonna get like girl i hadn't even feel like the application yet child my faith was just up there you know um because when you walk with God and you've seen what he's done, like, over and over, like, my faith is just up there. And so, y'all kid you not, I thought the application gave her everything that she wanted and needed. Girl, within 24 hours, I was approved. Mind you, the girl was like, okay, you got everything, um, 
this was before Labor Day. Um, you know, they, they close, you know, apartment complex and all they close on Labor Day, different stores and stuff. And so she was like, okay, we'll keep in touch. Um, you know, we're close for Labor Day, but I'll um, message you on Tuesday. I got a message. Like, I filled the application out on Friday. I got a message saying I was approved on Saturday. Girl, it was so quick. But mind you, I haven't even talked to the lady yet. She said she's going to call me. But I had already seen it. It was like, welcome to Blase Blase. This is your home. Welcome home. Blah, blah, blah. This was, like, the smoothest process. And, girl, we literally move next Wednesday. Like, that's why today we're going to be packing up. Y'all going to be packing up with me. Now, I've packed up majority of my stuff, but we still got to pack up a little bit more. But, y'all, I move next Wednesday, which is insane. Wait, next Wednesday, next Thursday. Yeah, next Wednesday. I get my keys on the 23rd, and I move um, all my things on the 25th. Because I have to go back and forth from city to city, and it's, you know, it's just me. Uh, well, I'm, I did uh, get some movers, so... Um, Preferably the movers come on time, get everything together. Um, Cause I did take off to move y'all. Um, so your girl is moving to a different city y'all. Uh, and I'm like, Grand Prairie has me spoiled y'all because the area where I was in, like everything is here. Like I don't have to move, I don't have to go anywhere. Like everything is like down the street, like up the road, like but my new city, like things are further away. Like I have to drive two things now, you know. Um, but I'm super excited for this new journey, y'all. Um, it's other things I'm gonna I want I'm gonna speak on later on down the line, but right now, and it's another thing that God gave me a desire for, and that is coming to pass too. So it's just a whole lot of new things. Like this is just a I'm excited about this new season of my life, like yeah and y'all like this apartment complex y'all gave me such i had told them i wanted to move girl that was me pay three thousand because they were saying i was breaking my lease but mind you my lease ended on 26 and my new um lease doesn't start to, to 27 i called them before and so they were trying to keep me the lease y'all when i say like ever since i moved on the desire that god gave me it seemed like the enemy kept hitting me, hitting me, hitting me. He wanted to keep me here, y'all. When I say, like, my apartment complex people was trying. I mean, y'all, I could not get out of this for nothing. Like, y'all, they was trying to, girl, maybe pay thousands of dollars. Like, they just give me a hard time. Like, but mind you, I'm still, like, just trying to move on the, you know, the desire and the word, you know, God gave me, you know what I'm saying? And every time you're moving on what God told you to move on and go where God told, tells you to go, the enemy is always right there. Always trying to keep you complacent, you know what I'm saying? And when I tell you I was speaking every day, like, you're not going to hold me down. Like, I am moving. Like, I'm moving. Like, I just kept saying I'm moving like I mean it would be times where I would leave work and they would come to me with another thing and another thing y'all <laughs> it was insane like I was so frustrated because I'm like something is so simple you would think it'd be simple and it wasn't simple like I'm literally telling you I want to move and it should have been that but no you want to try to you know, keep me bound in this, you know, in this, and keep me bound in the contract that I didn't even, I haven't even gone into yet. To the point where I had to call corporate. <laughs> I'm like, a uh, corporate? <laughs> yeah. Y'all, girl, child, my, the manager uh, in my apartment complex, she wrote her email up so good to the point where the corporate lady was like, well, she's, she's trying to help you out. You know how the enemy is. She's trying to help you out and things like that, blase, blase. Like, she's, looks like she's trying to really help you out, mind you. In my mind, I'm like, if, girl, if you only knew, like, what went on behind this email. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just like, you know what, God, you work it out. I wanted to extend it all the way to November. And I was like, the devil is like, who about to say it to November? Baby, send it to collections. Because <laughs> I'm gone regardless. 
She was like, um, it just worked out anyway. Um, that I put in your notice that you wanted it first early because somebody already got it already. That's great, fantastic. When God is ready for you to go, it doesn't matter what the enemy put in your path when it's time to go, it's time to cope. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm a little nervous about this new CD because again, it's a new city, you know, but new city, new opportunities, new um, places, new experiences, just everything new. What was so crazy is y'all, I would go to work, but nobody would know like, you know, what I was going through because I still show up as if it's a brand new day, go through it behind the scenes, but when I come out, you know, in front of people, you will never know. So one of my old students um, that I taught for the last couple of months, last year when I got here, um, she was one of the ones that would, her mouth would be a little slick, you know, and I would have to pray and be like, Lord, keep me. <laughs> but anyway, so um, they went to fourth grade this year. So. One of her uh, fourth grade teachers, they, they do a thing, I guess start a thing where they will allow them to like send notes to their old uh, teachers, um, like deliver, uh, have a delivery day on Fridays. And so this particular day, which was this past Friday, um, she came um, and saw me and she was like, um, hey, Miss Waller, I got delivery for you. And I said, hey, um, you know, such and such. Um, how you doing? Things like that. She's like, I'm good, you know. And she gave me my um, my delivery uh, letter um, that uh, she wrote to me. And mind you, I didn't read it right then when she gave it to me because I was uh, getting ready to, um, you know, pack up with my students so we can um, leave for the day. And so when I came back to my room, I sat down and I was like, let me just let me read this note um, that she gave me that she wrote, y'all. And I'm gonna put it in here uh, when I get it uh, tomorrow because it's, it's at school. I left it at school. My dad, she drew a church and her message said, Don't let the enemy get to you. And it was so crazy because, first off, you don't even know like how prophetic you know, that word was. And you're only in, in the fourth grade, you know what I'm saying? And it's so crazy because the teacher didn't even realize that she was hoping seeing a prophetic letter to me you know what i'm saying like your her letter fourth grader literally said don't let the enemy get you mind you i just told you all that i was going through my apartment complex you know what i'm saying these people were trying to come against me like the enemy trying to you know like really get to me when i say girl i mean i literally had chills just reading it because it's like hey God is really using, it don't matter how old you are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like we look, we sometimes we look for our words to come through a pastor, through a prophet, through this, this woman, through this man. But my word literally came from a fourth grader. <laughs> Y'all, it's so, it's mind blowing. And it was so prophetic. Like she don't even know like how prophetic that word was. And it was an on-time word, y'all. Literally an on-time word. And when I left that sc left school Friday, this this past Friday, that's when the manager had mentioned me about, you know, I know you was on this, but now you don't even owe that. You, you just owe $100. It go from two, $3,000 to $100. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that was just because of, you know, me using um, the water and it's just like, man, God will use anybody to speak to you, even through a young child. Well, he say my sons and daughters will prophesy. I'm on, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do an apartment tour. I don't know. We're definitely going to um, decorate things for the fall because y'all know. If you don't know, fall is my favorite season. And so we're probably into fall. It's going to be a pack with me a video, a welcome a video. Tell you guys that I'm back. I am ready to go. And you can probably already kind of seen a little bit me kind of tapping into like the short form content because I'm really starting to tap into that more and more. And I really, really want to hit it really hard this fall too because I, I really kind of like enjoying um, tapping to that, um, to the short form content too. I'm going to do both because um, your girl is now uh, 
that's about to get her an editor. Um, you know, because things about to take off. And another thing I'm, I'm working on too, back in Louisiana about, um, you know, my hair company trying to get that back up. And it was just like, I just knew I was gonna like really start it back up once I moved to Texas and it just, it didn't go like that because I had so many things going on. But your girl is finally relaunching in the fall time and I'm super excited. Uh, we have a deadline that we wanna launch by. Um, so stay tuned for that, you guys. Um, this is one of the hair, it's kinda crazy right now because I haven't been into it. Um, but I just cut it. Yeah, stay tuned for that because that's, that's coming out this fall. I'm pretty sure I'm probably wondering. I know I finished hair school, but I never did get a graduation because uh, when um, the instructor got sick, um, everything just started going crazy in her world too. And by the time like, she was ready to do it, I was back in school and just our times was not matching anymore. Um, and I wasn't really tripping about it because it's like my whole thing was I wanted to finish before I started back teaching and I did that. And so to me, my goal was accomplished, you know. Um, so, um, and then too, I, since I started back school, like I haven't had time to take the test. And so I finally scheduled my day to take the test. So I'm taking it on October the 5th. So prayerfully, I'm coming back on the video and saying, I'm licensed. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's just a couple updates, y'all. Um, this is just the beginning. We're just getting started, man. We're literally just getting started. I'm gonna get a new camera too, y'all. The DJI a Pocket 3 camera. Definitely like copying it. I really want um, want to um, up my um, camera quality. Even though I love my own ZBE 10 camera, it's really a great camera. Um, but it's just so convenient to just hold the little pocket camera um, and the quality is superb um, but yeah so just stay tuned y'all so this video you about to pack with me on you I mean uh, touring up uh, apartments things like that so let's get into it y'all I'm sorry if I like talk so long but you know I have been on this camera so long but yes thank you guys for sticking with me um don't forget to hit the subscribe button because baby we're back <laughs> we are back and we're better and i'm ready to get it going y'all so keep your better i'ma make a better way